Hello guys, uh, we meet again in, in a course with a topic called queuing and waiting models. This is taken from main reference, operation management, sustainability and supply chain management to 2013 by J. Hazers and Barry Renders. So uh, queuing and waiting models. So what, what is actually waiting lines? But before we go to the waiting line, uh, I think some of you knowing about the queuing, right? Queuing, waiting is almost similar. So, so this is a uh, activity that we need to wait because uh, yeah, actually we are ready to be served, but uh, the service provider not ready to serve us. Maybe they are still waiting for others. They are still busy uh, serving others or the, uh, the facility is break down so that uh, we need to wait and yeah, we need to queue. So waiting line is uh, one or more customer waiting for service and waiting line is actually forms due to a temporary imbalance. Imbalance between what? Between the demand for service and also the capacity of the system to provide the service. So uh, the structure of waiting line problems uh, consists of five uh, components. The first one is input or customer populations that generates potential customer. Okay. And then the second is waiting line of the customer. And then the third is the service facility or we call it server consisting of person or crew, a machine or a group of machines or both necessary to perform the service for the customer. And the number four is a priority rule. The priority uh, that uh, selecting the next customer to be served by the service facility. The priority can be, okay, you are sitting in a business class, so maybe you are uh, 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 prioritized, the most prioritized person. So maybe we talk about airline service. Or the priority meaning is that for those who come first, will be served first. It, it is called first come um, first serve. Okay. Uh, for illustration, the customer populations. This is a snapshot of the customer populations, and then they go to the service system. The service system consists of waiting lines, and a priority rule will be applied, and we have service facilities and after that serve customer so they are queuing in the line here and then will be served and this other person have uh, already uh, been served so the service system consists of number of lines can be single or multiple and the arrangement of service facilities we have channels and bases so what are the difference between uh, single multiple channels and places so we take a look here again so there are two things or uh, waiting lines arrangement the first is single line and then the second is multiple line uh, yeah single line here we all only have one uh, line so for example if you are queuing in a bank so there are one two three four five five uh, tailors and then you you need to follow the queue like this one right and then a service facility like this one is we call it multiple lines uh, all lines are uh, done in parallel so you you can choose either you can uh, queue here or uh, another lines so in one example if you are queuing to pay uh, groceries if you are visiting a supermarket and they open five cashier uh, stations right and then you can choose which line you want to take and uh, next one is single channel and single pace pace meaning that process so this one channel one process yeah this one and then this one is a single channel multiple pace so single channel single line like this one multiple pace meaning that maybe two processes and it is done by first 
operator and the second is done by the second operator yeah the first one i think is one example if uh yeah uh like uh uh teller banking teller and then the second one is i think if you go to um maybe you want to go to for example go to immigrations yeah to the immigrations when you want to do, uh, after you check in uh, after you you went to the check in counters and before you go to the gate okay to the boarding gates and then uh this one you you have to go to immigrations the immigration will take a look the first one is a uh, security process and then the second one is take a look at your passport and then give stamp and then uh next one is service facility arrangement we call it multiple channel and single pace so single pace and then multiple channel yeah this one and that one so in multiple channel it means that it is split to be two can be three or four well, one example if you go yeah to the mini market or go to the supermarket the number of cashier is more than one so you can actually uh choosing which uh cashier you, you want to visit and then multiple channel and multiple pace it means that we have uh yeah more than one operator here and then uh, we have also more than one processes so you can either go to here after this one for example in uh yeah let's say that uh, you uh, uh, process uh, you are processed in server one and after that you can go to server three or four so take a look with which one is ready and then you can choose okay either you go to three or you press it to the four okay and then it's uh, next one is a very complex one we call it mixed arrangement so let's take a look this is person number one and this person number two and then this is person number three for well, first person the routing is one two four so go to service facility one then uh, I'll continue to do two and then four and then the second person is from two four three so two four and then three and then the third person is three two one four so first go to the three and then go to two one and then uh, finally four so actually for um modeling the queuing and waiting lines we've uh, we apply birth and death process so we have lambda and we have mu so lambda is the rate for arrival or we call it arrival rate and mu is the service rate so lambda influenced by the number of people that's coming to a certain uh, uh, place and then mu is uh, depending on the rate of servers so priority rules as i said before so we can uh, apply first come first serve i think everybody know and this is the most common one and earliest due date so it means that the deadline for those have a very short deadline will be prioritized and also the third one is shortest processing time it means that uh, the process that has uh, lowest uh, processing time will be prioritized and the report number on uh, the, the port one is preemptive disciplines it is quite unique it happened when a customer of high priority arrives when a customer of the lower priority is being served the server interrupt and the current service and immediately start the serving the customer of high priority so one example if, uh yeah if you go to the hospital and then suddenly there one person that coming and then uh uh that person got injury and go to the um emergency room will be prioritized yeah even though the um, nurse or the doctors handling uh, others that may have low priority so the one that have a uh, high priority will be uh, handled first 
So arrival distributions, the probability distributions, we have arrival distributions, we call it Pn here, is equals to in bracket lambda times t power n and divided by n factorial times e power minus lambda t n is for 0, 1, 2, and, and etc. So that one is n is talking about n arrivals. Okay. So Pn is probability of n arrivals in t time period. Okay, so lambda is average number of customer arrival, or we call it arrival rates in units of, for example, people per hour, for example. And E is a constant with this uh, number. Okay, to make it uh, clear enough, so take a look at the example. So the example one, management is really designing the customer service process in a large department store. So accommodating four customers is very important. This is the constant for customers. And customer arrive at the desk at the rate of two customers per hour. And the question is, what is the probability that four customers will arrive during any hour? So uh, in this case, customer per hour, we can uh, assume that uh, T equal to one hour. And then n equal to four customers, so uh, we have four customers in one hour. And the question is, what is the probability that four customers will arrive in any hour, which is uh, one hour? So uh, here uh, we have uh, formula this one, and two customers per hour is the rate. So p four it means that the probability that four person uh, will come in one hour is 2 times 1 power 4 divided by 4 factorial and then times e uh, power minus 2 times 1 so we have 0 0.09 okay it's easy right then the next one is probability distributions that we take a look at the surface time distribution so this is the p in a bracket t less than capital T it means that 1 minus e power minus mu t so mu is the average number of customer completing service per period or we call it a service rate okay and t is uh, small t small case t is the service time of the customer and then the capital T is the target service time so one example is here uh, management of the large department store in example P1 or the previous example must determine whether more training is needed for the customer service clerk. So the clerk at the customer service desk can serve an average of three customer per hour. Okay, three customer per hour. So this is the rate for the server. And the question is. What is the probability that a customer will require uh, less than 10 minutes of service? So uh, this is a, a concern that our, they want to know. What is the probability that a customer, uh, uh, the server can can uh, handle less than equal to 10 minutes? Okay. First, we need to convert because mu is three customer per hour and we need to convert minutes of time to hours. It means that for 10 minutes of service will be 10 divided by 60 and equal to 0 0.167 hour. So the probability that T less than capital T is one minus E power minus mu T, right? And this is uh, the, 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 the answer is probability that t less than 0 0.167. So it become 1 minus e, uh, yeah, this uh, formula, and you got 0 0.39. Okay, 0 0.39. So, how to, to use waiting line models? Of course, we need to balance cost again, the benefit. And we have to look at the line length, number of customer in the system, 
uh, waiting time in line total time in system and service facility utilization of course as a customers and also as the uh, service provider we need something to be fast right in terms of line lengths to be short enough number of customer in the system also uh, hopefully that it is uh, can be yeah they, they, they can be served fast it means that the number can be reduced waiting time also and total time in the system can be short enough and service facility utilization will be high it means that uh, yeah utilization is talking about uh, how, uh, how best uh, your performance in serving customer comparing to the customer coming and then how fast the, uh, your your service rate or its service time so uh, we, we, we will take a look first on single server model the single server or single line customers and only one piece the assumptions are of course the number of servers is one the customer population is infinite and patience that the customer will be very very patient once they go in they will not go out okay so the customer arrive according to point song distributions with a mean arrival rate of lambda and the service distribution is exponential exponential with a mean service rate of mu and the mean service rate exceeds mean arrival rate the customers are served first come first serve and the length of the waiting time is unlimited okay and so uh, this is the formula we, we have uh, rho this is the average utilization of the system which is uh, lambda divided by mu and then uh, pn is the probability that n customers in the system it is one minus rho times rho power n and the average number of customers in the service system this is the formula and we have lq lq is length uh, in the waiting time q is uh, q stands for queuing and w is the average time spent in the system including the service time and we have wq is the waiting time in queue or in line okay and uh, this is an example guys before we take a break this is an, an example three manager of a grocery store in a retirement community of Sun sunnyfield is interested in providing good service to the senior citizens who shop in her store currently the store has a separate checkout counter for senior citizens on the average, 30 senior citizens per hour arrive at the counter according to the Poisson distribution. So this is the uh, lambda, right? Uh, and R serve at the average rate of 35 customers per hour. This is mu with the exponential service time characteristic. Uh, the question are probability of zero customer in the system meaning that there is no customer in the system what is the probability and number two is the average utilization of the checkout clerk it means that the performance of a clerk and the third one is the average number of customers in the system this is uh, L and then the fourth one is the average number of customer in the line it is LQ and then next one is E is the average time spent in the system with this W and finally the average waiting time in the line this is WQ so to answer the questions we can apply uh, uh, yeah you can use uh, this software with the call it, uh, OM Explorer actually guys you can download from the internet it is free and it is supported by uh, yeah this uh, material actually taking from the books and they, they also provide free software you can download it and you just put it here the number of server if you put it blank it means that it is one in single server model and the average the arrival rate is 30 
the service rate is 35 you just key in and then you just press, uh, press enter and you got this uh, results so from here I think it's more interesting is to see the utilizations the average utilization of the server here is 0 0.85 so it means that 85.7 percent so it's quite good because the maximum is one it means that if one then uh, exactly uh, the arrival rate and uh, the service rate is the same but it is good and if you look at here the average waiting time in line is 0 0.17 um yeah it is in hour right 0 0.17 hour so times 60 maybe is around yeah it's how long is it around nine minutes should be okay right should be okay yeah you wait for nine minutes okay guys i think that's all for part one uh later uh we will discuss what how to use the software and also a subsequent part of the waiting and queue lines Thank you.